Anthony Peck is accused of raping a woman last month after she had several drinks and left a Riverside bar. Police arrested the 28-year-old last week and they've charged him with kidnapping and sexual battery. He's being held in Duval County Jail on half a million dollars bond. According to an arrest warrant, officers believe Peck kidnapped the victim shortly after she left Park Place Lounge on King Street. This incident now has some people who live in that area ready to move out. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker has been looking at Peck's background and she's joining us live. Fran? Ken Joy, according to court documents, the man who was seen walking in this area, Park Place Lounge, the man who was walking around here and looking for some type of victim, actually has a pretty serious background. Just five years ago, he was charged with felony battery. And then a couple of years before that, he was charged twice with misdemeanor battery. Tonight, I shared that information with some of the folks who live in this area, and they say now it's time for them to pack their bags and go. I've had friends held up in gunpoint at my back door. Friends shot over at the rabbit. You and know? Just recently. Yeah, it's just escalating right? very quickly. It's not the area that residents of Riverside say they once loved. In fact, with 158 crimes reported to JSO since June, that include 36 assaults along with dozens of robberies, burglaries, and break-ins, residents like Warren Fiery say they're now ready to pack their bags all together. Bought our house 23-odd years ago. Nice, quiet neighborhood, families, kids. Um, all the restaurants and seven bars on one block has changed it, and I'm uh, putting my house on the market. I've had enough. Especially now that residents are learning about the most recent incident in the area. According to police, last month, a woman fell asleep in her car after having several drinks at Park Place Lounge. Hours later, police say this man, 28-year-old Anthony Peck, approached her car and got inside. While the woman lay unconscious, Peck reportedly drove to a grassy area and forced the woman to perform oral sex and have sex. Then the suspect fell asleep. It's pretty shocking. Ashley Johnson used to live in Riverside but moved to San Marco. She's using this incident as a reminder. It's something that you just have to be aware of. Unfortunately, um, you know, I, I would hope that we can educate our men in our society a little bit more to take more responsibility and um, to you know, help protect their mothers and sisters and daughters. But other residents like Warren believe the surge in crime may have something to do with how easily alcohol can now be accessed on the short street. I think it's a whole bunch of drunk people and the criminals think that there's an easy mark. Fat wallets and purses everywhere. And right now, Peck remains in the Duval County Jail on a $525,000 bond. His next court date, October 15th. For now, reporting live in Riverside, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station.